Hi, welcome to CGY 750 Part 4. Today we're going to talk about the Fataba Firmware Update 1.1. Most of you probably have it, most of you have installed it, but if you left the values at default, it's not really doing you as much good as it could be. So in this video, I'm going to show you all the parameters you need to set up to make that work well. Now what you're going to notice is a huge improvement in pirouette performance. I learned a lot doing this video, and I want to share that with you. Ben Miner was my mentor on this thing. Now there's some other videos on YouTube that, that talk about the firmware update, but they don't go into very much detail. And I try to go into as much detail as I think you can stand. So I've done a couple before and after shots. Watch this. Nothing bad is going to happen. I did some uh, pirouettes with the phase equalizer and the rotation equalizer turned off. Kept my hands off the cyclic and uh, the helicopter wanted to wander away pretty quickly. After making the changes, I did uh, some more and all this is with my hands off the cyclic. Pretty impressive. So I did some uh, climb out some traveling pirouettes and uh, got some autos. Shooting autos with uh, this and doing pirouettes during the auto is a lot of fun. You got to jump over the cone. If that interests you, keep watching. I'm going to show you how to do it. From the home screen, we want to go to the swash plate basic menu. And now we're going to drill down to phase equalizer. Most of us will want to turn that on. We'll talk about that more later. Go to rotation equalizer and turn that on. We're going to set the equalizer direction, and that toggles between normal and reverse. I've got a little video here that shows you which way it needs to be set. Now, when you enter that menu, the swash plate will tilt and lock. And the high side, if you'll position yourself on the high side and then rotate the helicopter 90 degrees, you should see the high side of the swash plate still looking at you. Now, if it's wrong, when you enter the uh, menu, the swash plate will tilt. And then, as you rotate the helicopter, now remember, this is wrong. As you rotate the helicopter, the high side will be on the other side of the helicopter, and you'll be looking at the low side. If that's the case, you need to reverse that value. Now we go to rotor tracking. I've got mine set at minus 5%. I'm experimenting. The default is zero, and I know that works well. Next, we're going to go to the rotation hysteresis. The default is 16. That works well. You probably wouldn't ever want to go higher than that. However, if you do a lot of slow pirouettes, you might want to reduce that value to between 8 and 10. Next, we're going to go to the Governor Basic menu. And we're going to make sure our RPM is set. Now, if you're running a Governor, you shouldn't have to worry about this. And Phase Equalizer will be turned on. If you aren't running the Governor, you're running Governor Throttle Mode, and you don't know what your head speed is, you need to leave phase equalizer turned off. If you do know what your head speed is, if you've got a friend with a tachometer and it's tacked, you can go ahead and turn the phase equalizer on. Next, we're going to go to yaw compensation. The default is off. So you want to turn that on and then set the direction. Uh, most of us are going to want to use clockwise top, which is the default, but be sure you check that. And at that point, you can turn that off or leave it on. It simply anticipates the need for power when you do a right pirouette.
Well, that's how you do it. And uh, I think you'll really enjoy flying a lot more. I know us old guys, uh, anything we can do to make it easier, it makes it more enjoyable. Uh, recently, Fataba has released their uh, SBE-1, which will convert uh, Spectrum and other receivers to uh, work with a S-Bus device such as a CGY-750, which is really great news because everybody that's using the CGY-750 well, not everybody, but 96% of the people that use the CGY-750 think it's the best fly barless controller on the market. So all this stuff will plug into your receiver, and this single plug will plug into the uh, CGY-750. Real simple setup, very cool. And I'm going to give this one away September 17th. To one of my YouTube subscribers. Well, that's the end of part four. We'll be back with part five in about uh, two or three weeks. We'll see you next time.